Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to create modulating reverb in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a lead and a rhythm guitar. And I want to add a reverb or a creative reverb to it. That's a bit more interesting and that changes over time. Let's hear what it sounds like now. So I'm going to put a reverb plugin on this track. We'll go to the track effects right here. We'll search in the filter reverb or verb. And I'm going to choose reverbate because it comes with Reaper. But everything we do in this video can be done in any reverb plugin. Double click it and it looks like this. Let's bring up the direct sound and adjust the wet. I'm also going to bring up the room size to make it bigger and the dampening so it's a bit brighter. I'm right about here. And now it sounds like this. Let's hear it without the rhythm and just hear the lead. Before and after. Now it sounds better, but like I said before, I want to make it more interesting and creative and have it modulate over time. So we could do that by adjusting our parameters to move based on the performance. So I'm going to start off with the room size. We'll select this parameter by clicking on it. We'll go to the menu and we'll see that the last touch parameter is the room size. And then I'm going to choose parameter modulation, which opens up this dialog. Now we could choose to create an LFO right here, and that'll vary the room size over time. We could adjust the speed and the strength, adjust the baseline over here to make it move over time. So it does change over time, but it's not very interesting and it's not based on the guitar player's performance. So instead of choosing LFO, I'm gonna choose audio control signal. And we're gonna trigger it based on channels one and two, or left and right. So it's gonna be triggered by the performance of the guitar. And we can adjust the attack, the release, the minimum volume, which is basically the threshold for this, the strength, which is how far it's gonna change, and then the direction it's gonna adjust. So with it set to positive, when the guitar player plays louder, the room size will be bigger. So let's start off with the bass line all the way down and readjust the minimum volume to see the changes over here. What I'm aiming for is when the guitar player plays louder, it goes above this red dot. And when they play softer, it goes below. That looks pretty good. Then we can adjust the baseline so the room size goes up to where we had it set before, which is about 95. But notice it's reacting very quickly. It's going up to the highest level, but coming back down very quickly afterwards. And we can make it slower by readjusting our release. We 
wanted to react quicker in the beginning, we can make the attack quicker. Or slower. But I think I'm liking it there. Now let's try out some other parameters. Let's do the same thing with dampening. We'll choose the parameter. So it's the last touched parameter. Parameter modulation, which opens up this dialog. We'll set it to audio control signal and our left and right channels. But for the dampening, when the guitar player plays louder, we want it to dampen less. So for this, We'll change the direction to be negative. So it'll move this way or less dampening when they play louder. We'll adjust the minimum volume to be about the same. Again, at the highest point, or well, the lowest point, we want it to be around eight. Which is what we had it set before. So when the guitar player is playing loud, the reverb is less dampened, and the room size is bigger. It's a much more dynamic sound. And we can do this with any parameter we want. Let's try it with the low pass filter. This affects how bright the reverb is, So we'll choose it as the last touched parameter, parameter modulation, which opens up the dialog. We'll turn on audio control signal and set it to our first two channels. We'll set this about the same. We'll keep the direction positive because I want it to be brighter when the guitar player plays louder and the opposite when they play softer. Make the release a bit slower. and adjust the bass line so it goes up to full frequency. So again, when the guitar player plays louder, the room size is bigger, there's less dampening on the reverb, and the EQ will be brighter. And when they play softer, the room size will be smaller, there'll be more dampening on the reverb, and the EQ will be darker. Here it sounds with the rhythm guitar. It's a much more interesting effect that's being adjusted or varied based on how the guitar player is playing. So it's tied in more closely to the performance of the guitar player. So that's pretty much it. 
That's how to create modulating reverb in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.